Man, I really hope they don't change the rates with these new EX banners. Please, not Marvel. Please, don't do it. What's going on, you guys? TBR here, back yet again with another King of Fighters All-Star video. And in today's video, we have a lot of news to go over. Indeed, you guys, we now know and have confirmation from Netmarble themselves on what the next banner is, as well as an exact release date for said banner. We have a lot to go over, as well as some data mines related to that new banner. Yes, you guys, we are going to be getting our first EX banner in the King of Fighters All-Star. And, uh, yeah, it's, um... It's Keo, so cool. But we also have in-game events that were added into the game that are officially live right now that we need to talk about pertaining to SS Shizuru. So therefore, you guys, we have quite a bit to go over in today's video. But before we go ahead and get into all of that and more, make sure if you guys enjoy Daily King of Fighters All-Star content such as this that you smash that like button and subscribe, and you already know what time it is. We have a lot to go over, so let's just go ahead and do it. Cue that intro. you guys now before we go ahead and get into the actual in-game news let's talk about some news that we have over on the official forums and then some data mines because they're both connected and they're both pretty important to note so first up here if you guys take a look we are going to have confirmation over on the official forums that we will be getting a new ex fighter next week on 428 now of course we all know who this new ex fighter is there is going to be a new ex version of Keo. We had this in the data mines late last night. We had all been talking about it over on my official Discord, which I guess now is a good time to plug it. If you aren't in my Discord, link's in the description. But I digress. So we do have confirmation on 428. We will be getting this EX Keo. However, if you guys would like to see the assets, let's take it some look at some data mines. So as you guys can see here, these are going to be some data mines. Special shout out to Vanst over here on my Discord for helping out with these. He always comes in clutch with the data mines. So first up here, let's take a look. As you guys can see, this is going to be what appears to be some sort of banner for a tower, more than likely, as we can see down here. So it does look like this is probably going to be a tower. And as you can see, we do have SS Iori, so he should be making his return with this banner. And we'll have the banner assets as well to confirm that. But we also have our first look at the new EX Keo. The biggest takeaway from this is this EX Keo, and they had talked about how they were working on trying to get licensing deals done with SNK in order to start using and implementing the King of Fighters 15 assets. And as you guys can tell here, that must have gone through because this is going to be the King of Fighters 15 Keo, which would be the first King of Fighters 15 character or asset we have had in the King of Fighters All-Star, so keep that in mind. So as you guys can see, that is going to be the tower asset there. And then if we take a look here, this is going to be the banner asset, and you can see the confirmation we will be seeing an EX Keo, as well as SS Iori being rerun alongside him. So it does look like this will be the first time that we will be getting a split banner where we will have both a rerun character and a new EX character. Chances are this Keo is going to be a native EX character, kind of like what we saw with Ryu and Akuma in this previous Street Fighter V collaboration. So it does appear as if that is going to be the case here, which, as we've talked about here on the channel and we've established, isn't necessarily going to be the end of the world. If you really think about it, that is sort of handy, considering we don't have to pull that extra three memories in order to get them to their EX state. However, the biggest question mark right now on everybody's mind are they going to be lowering the rates on these EX characters to make up for that fact? If that is the case, then that sucks, and we will rant and rave about it at nauseum, but we're going to wait till we get confirmation before we do anything like that. But, as you guys can see, that is going to be the asset for the banner, and again, we'll have to wait until 428 to take a look at that. So, next up here, we have another banner asset, again, just pretty much confirming now, as you guys can see, it says Extreme Fighter Pickup Summon Volume 1. Uh, so yeah, we are going to be getting EX banners instead of either BS or SS banners at this point. It looks like in the rotation of banners that we get. So that'll be interesting. I guess they're planning on splitting these more than likely. We'll have to wait and see. There is no confirmation on what this means for any sort of buff to SS Keo. 
It could be that he still gets a buff, we do not know. We'll just have to wait and see. Although it could mean that we might have to wait a little bit longer and maybe he'll come alongside some sort of EX version of Yori down the road and we'll just see a buffed SS Keo alongside some sort of EX or Iori or some point. It's So we don't really know. But that is kind of what everybody's kind of thinking on that end at this point, because we don't have any mention of SS Keo in all of this. Now, next up here, as you guys can see, this is going to be the card banner. So there's a couple things to note here. This is going to be the climax finisher for from King of Fighters 15 for Keo. So that does look like this is going to be a new card finisher for Keo. And it is going to be, like I mentioned, his climax from the King of Fighters 15, which is more confirmation that we are going to start seeing more King of Fighters 15 related stuff in this game, which is a huge deal. And then speaking of that, another thing to note here is on the set card art, you can see Shuni here. So it does look like we are going to probably be seeing him at some point in the next little while, maybe the next few months or so, who knows. But he is on the card art, so that would seem to indicate that he is probably going to be coming into the game at some point down the road. We just don't have any idea of when. And then beyond that, you guys do see here this is going to be SS Iori's finisher. So that pretty much confirms right there that he is going to be on the banner alongside that Keo, as if there was any sort of question behind that at this point after all the other assets we've already looked at. But at the same time, you can see that all these other cards are going to be new, and this is only going, going to be the only one getting rerun in this. So that is pretty much what we can tell there. So again, Climax Finisher from King of Fighters 15 for Keo, and then we also have Shuni being featured on the set card art alongside Keo here probably confirming he'll be in the game at some point. And then we also have a rerun of SS Iori's finisher. So that's pretty much that. We also have a look at the new option card. It appears to be right there. And so not much to talk about, but that's what we got. So next up here, another asset for the card banner. As you guys can see again, the climax finisher. And then we have the SS Iori art. So then we have this guy here. This does appear to be, is it, it does appear as if it's probably going to be Rush Dungeon, or no, that's just going to be for the tower again. I believe this is the same asset, just shrunk down. Yeah, that's just shrunk down. So again, tower asset, we've already seen it, just a smaller version. This is the Rush Dungeon one here. So we are going to have a Rush Dungeon event alongside this as well. So again, guys, all this stuff is going to be live on 428. Again, you can check that out over on the official forums. They do confirm that. So we are going to be getting a new type of banner. We don't know any details beyond all that stuff that I just talked about. We'll have to wait and see. But the good news about this is we will start seeing King of Fighters 15 related stuff in the game. The biggest thing that I can tell you guys right now is save, save, save. Especially if you have a particular favorite from the King of Fighters 15. Maybe you're a huge fan of Cronin, kind of like I'm a fan of Cronin. Then you'll probably want to start saving now because chances are you're going to start seeing some of those characters added in. This is very exciting, but at the same time, the biggest concern that I have is going to be how they implement these EX banners, because if the EX character is super, super low rates by comparison to the other character on the banner, then that's going to be a huge problem. However, if it's the same rates as it's always been, that's a different story. That's pretty good, because then we don't have to worry about having to pull those extra memories to awaken, or not awaken, but to EX a character, which, pretty good. So, we'll have to wait and see. We don't know what the implementation is going to be like. We don't know anything about the rates. We don't know very much of anything at this point outside of what I just went over. So, I just wanted to make sure that you guys were aware of what's going on. But again, on 428, we will be seeing EX Keo alongside a rerun and probably a buffed version of SS Iori as well as a Climax Finisher 3PG card for this new Keo that is going to be from the King of Fighters 15. And then alongside that, we also know that we are going to be getting a new set card that is going to feature art that also has Shuni in there. We also are going to be getting a new option, a rerun of SS Iori's Finisher, and of course the art that they are using for this EX Keo is from the King of Fighters 15. So anyway, you guys, that is going to be the data mines. Let's go ahead and jump into the game and talk about what we actually have live that we can actually play around with. So let's take a look at it. All right, now we're back in the game. So let's take a look at the things they did add overnight with the update. So first thing you guys are going to notice is it looks very empty. Street Fighter V is gone. Big rip. 
but I got Akuma, so I don't care. Anyway, let's move on to what we got. So, with the update, we do have the SS Shizuru Lucky Chance Event Special Missions. Now, this is going to be tied to the craft event, which we'll talk about also. But first, let's see how we're going to get the coins. So, as you guys can see, this is going to be the various in-game event missions that we can do in order to pick up these coins. And my advice to you guys with any of these types of events, because this is not our first rodeo, we have seen plenty of these events in the past. So, what we would do here is really we would just try to get through as many of these as quickly as humanly possible. At least that's what I do. So, when it comes to things in here, you can go ahead and just grind real quick. You can attempt to enhance your imprint stones. That's typically a really good one. You can go in here and you can do things such as just your basic dailies and so on and so forth. There's not anything in here that is going to be far beyond what we would normally be doing in our daily missions anyway. So this stuff is basically just additional rewards for doing things that you should already be doing in the game. One big thing to note is they did go ahead and add a new one here from the previous time that we had this event. We do now have a mission where we can attempt a dispatch mission in order to get these coins as well. So there's plenty of events here, but as we all are aware, when it comes to this type of event, typically speaking, these things at the beginning are very rewarding because we have a lot of different missions to do, but then they tend to slow down and dry up by the end. So keep that in mind. But that is going to be how you're going to be able to pick these up. We have two weeks or so with this event, so we should be able to go ahead and pick up plenty of these coins. However, where are we using those? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. So this is going to be the SS Shizuru Lucky Chance event, right? So basically what we're going to do is we're going to collect those coins from that event and we're going to bring it in here. We're going to roll on this board, right? So as you guys can see, this is going to be the board this time around. There really isn't anything here too crazy because most of this stuff is going to be mystery boxes for some of these items that you could get. So this plus imprint stone R box is going to be a mystery box here, as you guys can see. And if we take a look here, we got the ticket, which is just a guaranteed summon. But again, it's just a random summon ticket and so on and so forth. So all the stuff in here, honestly, while it's good stuff to have, in fact, these things here are actually super valuable because if you guys remember, if we go back to the event missions, there is an event mission for Soul Quest. So you'll want to pick those up whenever you get those. Those will be nice to have because you can kind of parlay those into more of these coins. But in general, what you want to do here is you want to go in and you want to try and get this here because this is going to be the main chase item from this board. This is going to be what you need in order to not only pick up Shizuru, but also to awaken her. So we'll talk more about that momentarily, but that's pretty much going to be the board. Now, basically the way this works is once you get an item on here, you'll be able to reset the board anytime you want. My suggestion, what I've always done, and I know some people don't do this, but then again, some people also bitch at me because I end up with so many memories for these characters. It's because once I get this shard or get a memory or whatever the case may be, depending on the event like this, I reset the board. Some people like to try and run the board. Some people like to try and get a bunch of these items. I don't think that's the right way to go about it. I think that you pick these items up here and then you bow out immediately and reset the board and try to get as many of these as possible especially considering the fact that Shizuru, if you guys haven't seen some of the footage of her already, she is an extremely powerful character post-buff. This character was already in a really good spot because she's a fairly recent character. So I think that you guys should be trying to get as many of these as possible. And therefore, I think you should reset the board anytime you pick up one of these. Just go ahead and reset it and move on. But that's just my opinion. You guys do what you want. Now, as far as crafting, let's take a look here. So basically, as you guys can see, this time around, we're going to be able to craft three different things here. You can go ahead and craft Shizuru herself, you can craft her memory, and then you can craft the option card. Now, none of this stuff is new. We've had all this stuff in the past. The option card here, we've taken a look at this before. Really good option card for Shizuru, but in general, it isn't anything that is going to be game-breaking, but definitely one that if you don't have it, try to pick it up. It's going to cost you one of these shards, and then the Shizuru memory is going to cost you three, and then Shizuru herself is going to cost you three. So, that is going to be where you're going to use the shards that you are going to get from that board. And again, guys, all this stuff is pretty simple, self-explanatory. There's not much that we really need to worry about with this thing. Like I said, make sure that you're doing as many of the daily missions as possible to get as many of the coins for this as you possibly can. And then you can go ahead and pick her up. Now, other things here, 
if we take a look here, we'll go in, we'll take a look. So you do see that we can go ahead and now pick up a change up kit for Shizuru. So this is something that is definitely worth noting because Shizuru can now be EX'd. I do plan on trying to do that. That is going to be my main goal of this event period. So once I'm able to do that, I will be bringing you guys footage of her in action. I do have Shizuru. I'll go ahead and show you guys from the original time she ran because this is a rerun, like I mentioned. But if we can go ahead and find Shizuru, in here which is probably easier said than done at this point considering good lord where are you there she is so i have my shizuru at a4 so right now that's where she's at and again you can change her up now so i do plan on trying to change up kit this character first before i go ahead and a5 her if i can't go ahead and a5 her at least i'll be able to ex her which at a4 is definitely to me more valuable than getting her to a5 and that's kind of my priority at this point but in general you guys that is pretty much what we got going on as far as this mini update obviously this is going to be kind of a tide them over update until we get that new banner as well as what appears to be a new tower as well as a new rush dungeon event so we'll have to wait and see what's going on with all this stuff. I just wanted to make sure I brought you guys all the details. Hopefully you guys found this informative. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the upcoming update as well as the current one. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. You all take care. Peace. Continue.